Pat, you guys, uh, those first three drives, I'm sure a little regretful of what happened against BC. What did, what did you guys see on the tape that maybe didn't go well for you guys? Um, just got to get the ball stopped earlier. It's plain and simple. And you were able to obviously sort of correct things after that. What, what, what went right after that, those first three drives? Uh, after that, we just started stopping the ball. And then we started scrambling and picking up those extra yards. It says about you guys that you were able to make those adjustments. It may take a, it may take a little bit, but you guys learn from those mistakes pretty quickly. Yeah, this is resiliency, accepted the coaching, uh, having a, a, a personal determination, you know, pull you back and do what you got to do. How, how nice is it to be coming back home, and how much of a difference does it make to this team playing at Hard Rock? Um, we love being at home with the fans, obviously, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's us and the white lines, and we got to play our ball regardless of where we're at. And that's just a fact of the matter. But what, what makes it so much easier? You're winning a lot of games at home and not so much on the road. Nothing about it is easy. Uh, I think it's just, I mean, it's just, just so I know we lost on the road. You know, we never want to lose anywhere, anywhere, at any time. Uh, but, you know, we're happy to be back home with the fans, with the family. Same message has always been, go you back and go to work. It's just simple. Uh, you know, obviously things didn't go the way we wanted them to, but uh, you can't live in the past. You can't get in the tank and pop out your lips. And, uh, I should, uh, you got to come out here every day like nothing happened. And just get that person, that, that, that drive within yourself, within the defense, within the whole team to, to get back to work. That's, that's going to get you back where you need to be. How's the relationship between the defense and offense right now? Because things aren't going so great for them. Uh, there is no separation with a team. It's not like we're divided. We're, we're one big family. It's not like uh, we don't like them. We just practice against them. It's just... Yeah, the expectations were so much higher than where you are now, and you still can you know, finish the season on a high note. But where you are at this point, you expect more. We're just trying to get... The, Keep the morale up, you know, finish off the way you want to finish off. Can you, can you have something to prove here at the end of the year? What's that, what's that like for this team right now? You guys are like, how, how are you guys keeping the morale up and how are you, you know, keeping the confidence going after coming off two straight losses? Uh, we didn't get in the tank. Uh, obviously, things didn't go the way we wanted it to, but nobody's around here pouting. Everybody came out to work. Uh, um, it's obviously like not like I said, not the way we want things to go. So I mean, you gotta look at the field, you gotta correct what you gotta correct. You just gotta get back to work. Everybody out here loves playing the game of ball, everybody loves playing with each other, everybody loves his team, everybody loves you. So I mean I think that's all the motivation we need. That's on this dude. Last yeah. And the quarterback too. And the quarterback, yeah. Um, they're a good team, but we gotta treat it like any other team. Come out, we gotta tackle the ball immediately. We gotta stop the ball immediately, get after the quarterback. Play our ball. Thanks, Pat.